Hi guys, hi Pak Chakra. Hi. Very good to see you, my friend. Yeah. So guys, um, today is Earth Day, and I thought, who else should I celebrate Earth Day with? And the man himself, Pak Chakra. Yeah. So um, in a few weeks, we are gathering at Bali Eco Stay for an amazing event where we're going to be learning about uh, permaculture, but also about bee preservation. So I'm here today just to have a little chat with uh, Pak Chakra. So he's going to tell us a little bit what uh, permaculture is about and what the workshop will be all about. So you get some, some ideas. But before we do that, Pak, do you want to tell us a bit about, you know, not everybody knows, knows you. I mean, okay. most of the people have heard about you, but tell yeah. us a little bit about you, what you do in, um, in Bali. Okay. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Imade Chakra. I'm born in this village, uh, two kilometers south of a good center, a village called Apongo Second. Um, I'm, I'm uh, born um, back in 70s, you know, when everything was uh, still uh, a real paradise and uh, every farming was uh, naturally done and uh, uh, rice field was filled with ecosystem, eel, fish and snail and frogs and fireflies. So it was a real paradise and of course, uh, unfortunately, that doesn't last very long and um, when the uh, uh, chemical and the hybrid uh, rice uh, got introduced and we lost all those uh, diversity and since then I probably about um, 10 years old then and I always wanted to go like well wow, why don't we do it you know why don't we do it like as, as how it was before you know it was so real and it was so like like uh, it was so abundant the nature gives you everything you want you know not just rice veggies eels frogs so uh, since then, I really, um, I, know I was hungry for anything that um, uh, to do with sustainability. So I was really a, a small boy, but I was a, I was already then a, um, um, activist for for sustainability, you know, for, for natural way of doing things. So, and then of course in um, uh, uh, 2003, I, I uh, 2002, I completed the appropriate technology. Uh, course and then uh, 2003 I joined Ida Foundation and then 2005 we went to uh, uh, Sumatra we went to North Sumatra in Aceh when there was a huge tsunami there so I uh, met so many uh, people doing uh, uh, cool stuff like uh, permaculture and you know uh, a, a, a project concern uh, international and so uh, yes it was a great uh, great, great opportunity to expand my my knowledge in sustainability. Tell us about your work today. What are you doing these days? So we're doing many things. We're doing one of our project is um, uh, working with local rice farmers. We are conserving uh, agriculture's land and heritage variety rice because. Uh, back in 2007, we, we recognized that um, chemical farming and the uh, uh, hybridized uh, farming is not really sustainable because, uh, because that's why the indicator is that farmers or Bali losing agricultural lands like up to 1,000 hectares per year. So uh, due to uh, the cost of the chemicals, uh, are just increasing and increasing and, and, and until 2008 it was the uh, Indonesian uh, government decided not to subsidize um, chemical fertilizer any longer so it was really uh, uh, you know bad timing for the farmers so so yeah it, you know in average at the time um, farmers in Ubud area they manage 3,000 square meters of land and they only earn 23,000 which is under two dollars and this is explained why farmers are giving up and they go, they're looking for a job at tourism industry, so they become driver, they become uh, like a, a, a room, a room boy, you know, all this. And so we, we uh, first, what we, we done, we, we, we identify the problem and then we come up with a very simple solution. So we call uh, our project Seeing is Believing. So we just started with a few farmers that we introduced back the uh, the heritage variety of rice, and I think also John uh, grew some of his at uh, his area, and uh, so then uh, uh, we bring back the animals. So then uh, the farmers are, are using the compost that are produced from the cows because it's very very common in in, in Balinese 
uh, farming that uh, if you own a rice field, you own cows. So, so uh, but what happened? People uh, people throw away this uh, black gold, and then they they buy a, a expensive uh, chemical fertilizer, which is really silly, you know. So we what we did, we bring the cows back, and then we. Uh, we integrate the system by designing uh, the cows uh, area and then the vermiculture and you have the aquaculture which you will see some of this slide I will bring with me and then um, and then you have the, the after the vermiculture you have the asola culture the fish pond and then and then your rice so be, before the water reach the rice area is already very very uh, rich in, in, in nutrient and our fertilization which is natural from worm casting and from the fish dropping Therefore, uh, and then we managed to increase the yield uh, from, you know, like uh, normally they get four tons per hectare. So now we got about eight and a half tons per hectare. So not every farm is reaching that, but, but some farmers do. And then so we're able to increase uh, the income up to 100,000 per day instead of 23,000 per day. So, so now farmers from, from uh, starting with four farmers and then we got six farmers, now we got 22 farmers and more and more farmers joining in because seeing uh, it's working. But unfortunately, you know, uh, when the agung erupted, uh, we were, we have a very, very difficult time because we were shocked also because even that we are farmers, we thinking that we not will be not directly impacted by the by the tourism, but but we do, and and there was from selling 700 kilos of our heritage rice per month, and when the Mount Agung erupted, we were selling zero. So farmers were really frustrated again, and and they grow this heritage variety rice, and of course I get really, really a big pressure of this because I. I still, we go around Bali, we're trying to promote the rice, and still today, you know, we're working in many places, and we even send some sample to Jakarta. We just hope that uh, the market is returned, therefore, uh, more and more farmers join the program, uh, and it's more healthy the environment, which is a win-win solution for everybody. Thank you for the work you're doing. Yeah. Tell us about, okay, we're going to do three hours of a workshop on permaculture yeah. and also a little bit on beekeeping because it's a good, there's nice bees at uh, Bali Eco Stay. Tell us about what we're going to do during the day. So we'll, uh, uh, of course, uh, Eco Stay uh, I know very well because uh, I know John and we uh, help design the area. So uh, we're going to uh, show you around the area and um, also we are very lucky at Eco Stay because we got uh, uh, some nice water flow there so we got about um, uh, 23 liters per second added about 12 meters drop so we're able to produce uh, uh, micro hydro there and it was a huge challenge because um, you know bringing all this heavy duty equipment down into the uh, river like 150 meters step down it's crazy but because uh, we love it you know that's we, our love with, with nature so so yes, uh, it was, I think, uh, one of the, uh, I think the best place of, of uh, the best eco place you can find because uh, this uh, place is like uh, using 60% of the energy from the micro hydro. Oh. So, so I will go, I will show you around about um, um, all this design and then all the um, um, a little bit about appropriate technology and how our water energy works and uh, chicken system and the farm system and we talk also uh, going to be like uh, what is permaculture it's basically uh, is a very simple uh, permaculture is is a, is a design method just like any other uh, design method but they are very special about permaculture the very unique thing about permaculture that is the only design method based on ethic so um, so anything you do, you must base on these three ethics. You care for the people, you care for the environment, and you care for the future, for the, the, the sharing of the resources. So, so it's very special uh, uh, system because uh, in, 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 before you do anything, you have to think: Is that you know, am I am I doing a, a, am I um, a, you know upsetting anybody or the nature? So you always have this this. Uh, uh, ethic to, to the base on so uh, it's a cool system and uh, first when I uh, joined permaculture in 2003 and 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 then I'm after that I'm thinking who's going to employ me you know I'm, I'm like worried like oh 
I learn all this um, ecological stuff and and I have children, I have family, and I, like, who's going to employ me? Where am I going to get my you know job from? And but I believe that a job keep coming. You know, as long as you um, as long as you uh, uh, care for the earth, and and she will care for you. And he's mm. like all the time. Now I I just have so many projects. You know, now a big project in Sumba and project in uh, Nag Nagi in Ubud and doing more micro hydro and. Just many many projects. Also doing a lot of um, um, a consultant work for for you know a resort and stuff. So yes, we will we will talk about permaculture and also uh, the fun thing is we're gonna you're gonna meet the real Tarzan. You know you see this movie like about Tarzan born in the forest and 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 take care by a dog. But I'm gonna bring you a guy that is real. I mean he's. He's born in the forest and he got adopted by by hunting dogs and he was wow. it's not it's not a not a long long period but but he's the real Tarzan and All right. and he will uh, show us how to play with bees without any uh, protection at all there's nothing and he just basically talk to the bees and he'll grab the bees and he's this uh, a very best local bee whisperer you know wow. and, and I will bring him to the site so we will see also. I will talk about uh, native bees and and <clears throat> also we're gonna when uh, Pak Pancha are gonna show us to ha harvest some honey from from a bee that John has and then also and and, and identify different bees uh, because we have eight different bees so he will tell us everything about native bees. Great. Yeah. Well, 24, 25 of May, John uh, joined Pak Chakra and Tarzan uh, at Bali Eco Stay where we're gonna have. Definitely a lot of fun learning about permaculture. And the next day was going to be on human capital, another important topic. So a happy Earth Day, everyone. And uh, thank you, Pac, for today. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Bye, everyone. Happy Earth Day.